Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are back in Pennsylvania in Lewisburg and we are at one of my most favorite places to shop when here we are at, wait for it, Lewisburg Antiques. That's right ladies and gentlemen, go ahead shiny blue Kia. We're gonna get inside and see what we can find. Let's do it. How about we start with some Easter kitsch? Look at these two little weirdos. Oh, they're plastic heads, celluloid head, check and blue. So $7 with little chenille hands here. We've got her, his little friend. We've got the girly candles, Easter magic. They're super, what is going on here? Am I disturbed? Am I fascinated? Am I gonna get it for ten dollars? Uh, yeah, I am. What? We've got a little birthday angel here. It's only five dollars. I'm immediately like, what's wrong with it? Uh, she's got her sailboat. Am I? I. I mean, why not? August, she's got her sailboat. She's feeling semi-patriotic. It's those warm summer months. She wants to go sailing. She's gonna sail into our basket today, that's for sure. Just kind of looking to see if we find anything else. I've seen the head bases here before, so. Oh my gosh, look at this little. Oh, that's cute with her swinging. It's $20. Look at the little miniature owls. This one's $20. Does that work, I wonder? It's adorable. Oh, look at this one. Is that the same? No, it's a little bit bigger with the mushrooms on it, right? Yeah, it looks bigger to me. Oh, it's it's key wound. I don't know if they're gonna have the key. That's gonna be the only unfortunate thing. Oh, the owl looks like it's a key wind too. Right there in the, ugh, the eyes are lurking out at us. <sighs> Darn it, I would really like that, but only if it had the key. Um, I don't think the tag says that the key is in Sweden, Germany, wind up owl. Oh, that would have been amazing if it had the key, but it's kind of one of those things then where you're searching for the appropriate key, and that can be a little irksome, I will say that, but that was cool to see, darn it. Love the little sconces here. These are wired. Obviously, they need rewired. $20 each. That's not that bad. It's simple, and I like the simplicity of those. Interesting little bird cage here. Oh, with the little poop pen. Oh, looky there. I think it's more of a decor piece than an actual real. I don't know. Maybe it is. Who knows? But that's quite fancy. I know that. Ooh, now look at this Amberina decanter. We've got it priced at 35. How is our stopper? Like a flame. Um, ooh, that is gorgeous piece of mid-century glass. So, okay, what I'm seeing right here, it doesn't look like it was completely sanded. They missed a little, little spot there, so it almost looked like a chip, but ooh, that's a stunner. Let's put it down here and see if we can't. Oh, is it? Ugh some pretty good calcification on the interior there. I'm wondering am I going to be able to get it out? I don't know. Is it worth the shot? That'd be a pain to clean, I can tell you that much. Wow. That's a great look. Let's see, pick it up here. Isn't that lovely? I don't know. That could be problematic down in there. Hmm. I'm going to need to think about that just because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that cleaned and that is certainly something to take into consideration. Uh, what are these? I don't think, are these vintage? Oh, they are. It's kind of disturbing these parrots with chains coming out of their faces. Hmm. Massive Easter die cut that's held in place by little brads so that you can kind of take them apart. Oh, look, he's a, he's a dapper little fellow here. My goodness. 
Yeah, see, there's your brad. So you could take them apart easily. That would make for easier shipping. He's $9. Got a little tattering up here at the hat. But whoa, that thing is, look at that. It's massive. I don't know if I really want to get, oh, we've got some peacock glass. 15 on that one. That's a good one. There's some solid weight especially to that base. Um, oh, little, little leak. Is it a leak? No, it's not. Is it made to look like Lily? No, it's not a leak. Okay, see the rippling down there? Made to look like Lily. We are lead crystal made in Italia. Ooh, look at the roughness to the mold. So she really priced them to sell. She certainly recognized the quality on those oh my gosh we've got some rhinestone eyes little floppy dogs here the lego how much are these seven dollars for these cuties <gasps> okay we'll get those for seven dollars oh my word one is a chain one does not i don't think that's like a make or break kind of thing oh my gosh they're darling let's go ahead and pick those up all right, so here we have some really interesting architectural details. So here we have some corbels. Now this one obviously has some damage. We are at 55 for that one. Probably touching a whole bunch of lead, but um, this is interesting. These swans, now they almost look like corbels, but with the bracket up here, I'm wondering if this, this isn't part of an armoire, a hutch of some sort. All right, so see down here. Unfortunately, it is missing this detail here. Um, that's kind of sad because those are pretty amazing, I gotta say. Um, you could certainly probably, I don't know, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but pop this one off. Um, yeah, oh, that one's broken. So you could get um, some replacements on there. This is interesting over here too. Uh, we've got, this looks like it is part of a buffet to me. So this kind of would have been in the center, and then the mirror probably would have been in the middle. Those are at 20 each. This is a great architectural piece. You know, you'd probably have to saw that off, pop that off, but it would make a really interesting, again, just kind of like a sculptural piece to kind of bring in some wood. I love the, the foot on that one. I don't know what I would do with it, to be completely honest with you, other than decorate, but I think that could be really cool but interesting to see some salvage in here. From architectural salvage to super cute catch. Look at these little circus elephants. They do have a Napco sticker on them. And the best part is that they're only $6. I love the one back here on the pedestal, like the contrasting, but yet similar colors. So we're definitely gonna pick those two cuties up for sure. I did spot something up here. Look at this old Jiminy. It's like a little ornament. It's cloth, but it's like starched and he's floating down from the ceiling. He's only $3. Oh my gosh, it's so super tempting. Michael, behave yourself. You're trying to get rid of stuff, not acquire more. Okay, Jiminy, sorry, you're going to have to go back on the hook. But that's adorable. Love it. Um, little itty bitty cutie with her pink bow tie, $9. Go ahead, girl. Um, what do we got? Oh, we got a diamond pottery rempel here. Look at how sweet this piece is. 18 on her. Um, oh, 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 I'm going to do it. I can't say no. It's more than I would like to spend, truth be told. So, but I really love her. She's adorable. Oh, talking about adorable. What is this? Now, I'm not the biggest Bell fan, but it's a little blue bird. He says, Grace after the meals, we give thee thanks, Almighty God, for all thy benefits, who livest and reignest world without end. Amen. It's 25. Oh, there's no clacker on it. And what's this back here? Dinner is served. Um, what else you got in here today, lady? Oh, look at these snacking soup bowls. They've got personality. Purse, oh, little false craft pie bird back here. I've sold this piece a couple of times. 22, yep, that's about it. 
Um, oh, little tiny treasures, tiny treasures. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do it to ya. I'm not gonna do it to ya. What are we seeing? Windy Hills. You, this, oh my golly, that's adorable. Is this your little, <gasps> stop it. I love it. What? Creative ideas. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Um, do we see anything else for us? Metallic ducks. Aggressive metallic ducks. They look mean, don't they? Sure do to me. Got some jewelry back. Who are you, little sparkler? Ah! At $9. I want to check this green one out. Like a brass, faux brass finish. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more contemporary, yeah? Based on that back. It's made to look older than it really is, but still, it's a pretty brooch. But I want the real deal, gosh darn it. Um, beheaded baby. Fun. Oh, he's a dolly. That's an F and B. Uh, some Fisher Price. Um, baby Yoda eating a frog. What's this cutie? Oh, look at that little J Hong Kong or Japan toy. What is that? Crib with two baby dolls. Thomas Toy, fifteen. Raw. Love it. Charm. Is there any charmkins in here? It's the case. Oh, it feels empty. Golly, gosh darn it. Nuts. How much is the case? Six dollars. Yeah, there ain't a charm can in there. Oh, antique children's book alert. It looks like it is in pretty gosh darn rough condition. It's Little Miss Goody Two Shoes by McLaughlin Brothers. Pardon me. Looks like it was taped together at some point with masking tape. Oh, darn it. It's not a full. Oh, well, we do have some full colors. Ah, total separation. Um,. Pretty. I wonder how much they have on it though. I don't. 15. Uh, condition. I'm going to have to leave that one at 15 just because of the condition. Does that say the whole book? The whole book. It's not part. It's the whole book. It's the golf book. Interesting title. Um, always a really interesting booth. Filled with some really nice high-end things, typically. Uh, you never know. There may still be a deal to be had. You don't know until you look. Um, saw this piece before. It's still here. Unfortunately, it's at 165 So, eh. Trats. All right. We'll see if we can't find anything else. Uh, as always, we are set up to impress. It's always a beautiful display here. And again, it is so nice to see somebody that obviously takes their time, has such significant care and everything. I'm going on. Now, this is a new setup here. We've got full, like, 60s, 70s bohemian vibes. Loving that look. We even, of course, have some furniture to go with it beautiful to see look at that mid cinch bar set up back there again it's just like little um oh my goodness tiny little captures of rooms what's over here i'm seeing some long neck stuff there's a big old jim beam bottle um i'm not overly in love with those not gonna lie so let's see what else we can find Ooh, down here it is milk glass it is indiana oh it's darn it oh wait oh it's right there okay i was gonna say it's 25 that's cool interesting that it's got its original box to it Let's see what else we can find here um oh look at that big old coin dot fenton vase 125 
Uh, we'll see this little cutie. 49, darling little deer. I mean, it's not a deer. You know what I mean. Like D-E-A-R. Got some stuff. Hmm. I don't see... Oh, you know what? Richard just bought this. He got his set for 28 I think the glasses are a little bit different. Those are a little short shot skis. The other ones are more cordial size. Um, okay, nothing for us. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Stop. No, you stop. Okay, we'll move on. Now this is really interesting. A burgundy velvet with embroidered flowers on it here. I've actually never seen, whoa, that's heavy. I've never seen one with the embroidered, look at how beautiful that is. Yes, there is some wear to the velvet, especially here on the spine and around where your fingers would go. Um, that's really pretty. Now let's see here. Um, ooh, they have it at a hundred. I don't know. And if it is a little tear here, um, let's see. So pages are rather plain. More of that, look at that moustache. So there's an empty one here. Um, I mean, the weight would indicate that it's pretty filled with, goodness, with photos. My, oh my. So there is one missing one that we saw there. I don't know. I gotta be honest. It's just... Uh, overall, really good condition. Only missing, essentially, two photos, it seems. But $100 for it. But it is that embroidered cover that I've never seen. Um... Yeah, that's just one of those things I think I'm going to have to... It's actually a patch. If I'm looking at it, yeah, it's patch. It's a patch. It's an embroidered patch that's been transferred on. Um, there's a little bit of a lift. You see it right here. Okay. At 100, I'm going to have to leave it. That's a shame, but it is a beautiful piece. Well, guys, it looks like that's about all that we are going to find here today. We got some cute stuff, but we'll do the final wrap up outside. Well, it certainly wasn't the biggest haul, but gosh darn, if we didn't find some cuties. Hey guys, you gotta let me know what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works and you know, I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty and dusty. Bye guys.